So now I'm gonna give you the secret and probably the worst thing I could actually do is give you a reason never to come back to this video ever, ever again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode, well, the first ever episode of Free Tuesday Tutorials. Probably a tongue twist, that's Free Tuesday Tutorials. Tuesday, tu it's not, just an idiot. That's right, from now on, from this day, today is a landmark day. From this moment, I'm gonna be looking into doing tutorials on Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, and all across the board, including After Effects. Nobody ever leaves out After Effects. There's loads to do on that. But today, I wanna to hone in on the idea of using text transitions and motion blur within your projects. So, let's jump straight into it. Oh, I need a title, don't I? Um, title drop. So the effect I'm gonna be showing you today is how to create a motion blur and text animations. It is the simplest way to create motion blur it with your text in Premiere Pro without having to go to After Effects. So let's jump straight into it. So first of all, let's create some text on our timeline. And we've created the word Charlie, do you know why? Because my name's Charlie. So we've got our text on our timeline. We drag and drop the transform effect on top of the layer. We go to our effects panel and it's as simple as this. It, shh, don't tell anybody this. So all we do is press our a keyframe on our position. Say we want it in the middle. We go down, drag it out of our frame. There we go. We've got a quick coming up. Looks pretty crap because it's got no motion blur to it, no weight to it. So the best way to add the weight towards it is you select both of the keyframes, right click and easy ease and easy ease out. Easy ease and easy out, easy ease. So there we go. We've got a bit of a fast effect. So if we just make that a little bit longer, it'll have a little bit of weight to it. All we need to do is half blow up the uh, little hill and it'll have a little jitter to how it comes in. There you go. That's quite nice. So I just want that a little bit faster. So pulling it the other way will kind of shove the line. It's like playing with goo, it's weird, but it works. So there we go, we've got a little effect now. So we've got the weight and all we need to add now is the motion blur and this is the simplest thing. This is the secret that I never see anybody talking about with Premiere Pro and that is the shutter angle on transform. As soon as we start to add that in, if you notice, motion blur, boom the simplest thing look at that you've got a really nice text effect that we can whack around anywhere in our scene and change it and it's always going to be the same so all we need to do is just move the effect around add it in our scene where we kind of want to have it so say i want it in the bottom left hand corner so i know where the effect's coming from there we go we go to the end and there we go we have a lovely uh, text pop in and it works so perfectly. So now I'm gonna give you the secret and probably the worst thing I could actually do is give you a reason never to come back to this video ever, ever again. And that is saving it. The secret is saving it. Nobody wants you to talk about saving it because if you save it, you're never gonna come back to the video again. But you know, um, come back maybe just once or twice a year. So what I'm gonna do first is create an out for this. So I'm gonna to go to my keyframes. I'm gonna select the little diamond to create a keyframe and then go out and just drop, drag and drop it back out again. There we go. We don't need to, we've already changed the shutter angle. So the shutter angle is handling all of the blur. We don't need to do anything else in that sense. So let's save it, right? Let's save it so you never have to come back here ever, ever again. So all you need to do is right click on the transform effect, save preset, and maybe we call this uh, pop in. I always like crazy names, pop in um, and out. There we go. So if I delete this, we create some more text. Smile, as you know, we're in a global pandemic and we all could do with a little smile. There we go. We go to our presets folder in our effects panel, find, uh, what did I call it again? Damn it. Pop in and out, drag and drop that on our smile layer. There we go. The effect's there, but it's not perfect, obviously. The reason why that isn't perfect is because I haven't made it so it went all the way out. So one thing to keep in mind is you'll need to do small adjustments depending on the new text that you make, but that is just so much faster than actually doing anything else. You don't have to do anything else. So if I just delete that other one. Oh, maybe if I... So what we gotta do is select that keyframe, drag and drop it all the way out, 
and this time it's going all the way out. The same thing with this one. I know it's it's small adjustments, but small adjustments are so much easier to make than having to make the create in, blah, 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 than having to create the entire thing again. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the secret motion blur that nobody talks about ever uh, on Premiere Pro. It took me years to find out how to use this and how to do this. I don't know why. Uh, it's quite stupid actually and sad saying that I'm a paid video editor and I didn't know how to do this. So ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, all the other bloody buttons. Uh, apparently they help. Well, we've got yet to find out. And if you've enjoyed Tuesday's tutorials free, free Tuesday's tutorials, free tutorials on Tuesdays, Make sure to stick around for more. On Fridays, I have content coming out too. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and I will see you in the next one.